Hello again, this is uh, Chloe from belaycpp.com and, <clears throat> and I explain why I consider myself a C++ expert and why I'm proud of it. So, in my opinion, what is a C++ expert? Is it someone that knows the language very well? Someone that can answer and question about the any question about the language? Someone that can teach C++ to anyone? Someone that has an absolute and definite opinion on what to do and not to do. If it, this is your definition, then I'm not a C++ expert. I'm probably not as good in C++ as most of you, but ah, I'm cool with it, and that's why I like to come to CPPCom. So I'll tell you a story of um, when I got on my new mission last year. Um, I can't talk much about it since, since it's government related, but uh, at the interview, I was talking to the tech lead and the PM and I, and I asked the tech lead, what version of C++ are you running? Common question. And the tech lead was like, mm, poker face. Didn't have an answer. And I was like, whoa, okay. And it's the PM that <laughs> has answered the question. He said, uh, it's C++ 11. Um, this was not. Actually, it was the C++ OX implementation of Visual Studio uh, 2010, which is a bit different, but uh, I can blame him, he's the PM. So uh, I applied anyway to the mission, and uh, when I arrived on the project, it was hell. There were C style casts everywhere, code replication everywhere, uh, some headers had header guards and some had pragma ones. You, you can use either if you want, but not both at the same time. Bad usage of pointers and references, a classic. Um, big reliability and performance uh, problems. That's why I was called on the project. And, and many other problems, legacy code and all. Uh, but soon I became a point of reference. It took a bit of time, but uh, I became a reference in C++ because I had three things. Uh, more knowledge of the language than uh, many of them. The will to analyze the code and to change it. The will to share my knowledge. And that's all. And so today, when they have a question about C++, they come to me. And it's a good thing because if I don't have always an answer, I know where to, to find one, almost every time. And there's someone to refer to when they are lost. That's the most important thing. Before, they were lost and alone in the depth of their code, and now they have a point of reference. I also have a blog where I write articles and share my thoughts, and they can respond to it, and if anyone can respond to it. And I expect people to react to my articles so I can improve myself. That's the goal of it. And in my opinion, that's what uh, being an expert, an expert is all about. It's helping others. And as a conclusion, I will say share, learn, be the light that guides your fellow engineers through the abyss of software development, be an expert. <laughs>